Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Thank you guys for clicking the video. First and foremost, um, for those of you who are brand new to my channel, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure you guys turn on notification bells just so you can get a notification every time I drop a video. I know it's been a while since I dropped a video, but I'm back like I never left. And today is a special day because it's my last day in the military. Um, or is it my first day out? I guess it's my first day out, so I get to talk my shit now. But um, today is my official retirement date. I retired 26 October 2020, which is today. Um, just wanted to make a quick video before I go ahead to do some things. You gotta get that DD214 and all that good stuff. But before I do that, I'm gonna drop some knowledge on y'all. So I was gonna make the title of this video, Reasons Not to Join the Air Force, but I don't really think that there's there are reasons not to join. Just a couple things that I want to get off my chest about the Air Force as a whole, and it could possibly help somebody that's looking to make the decision to join the Air Force. So a few things I want to talk about is just subscribing to other military YouTubers, as well as some things that I don't agree with, like the fraternization rule, um, and a bunch of other things. Um, I just want to dive into it because now I have a voice and I can talk my shit and I don't have to worry about repercussions of getting in trouble by leadership or anything like that. So this is going to be 100% genuine, unique, and I'm going to get right into it. These niggas prayed on my downfall. Hey, what? These niggas prayed on my downfall. On our 10 bitch, I stood tall. So first thing, like I said, is subscribing to other military YouTubers. Just know that if you subscribe to other military YouTubers, then you have to take everything they say with a grain of salt. The thing is, for everybody who posts things on social media or on YouTube, if you're a military YouTuber, then you have to worry about the repercussions that come along with whatever you post. If it gains momentum and people start to recognize it and you're saying the wrong things, whether it's your opinion or anything like that, you can still get in trouble for it. So if you subscribe to other military YouTubers, just make sure you take everything they say with a grain of salt. Some people are giving you the real truth, honest facts, but some people are also trying to save face and be strategic and walk the line of not in trouble and in trouble. So it's a fine line that some people decide to walk, but just keep that in mind. If you subscribe to other military YouTubers, take everything with a grain of salt. If you subscribe to my channel, just know that from this point on, everything is gonna be 100% real, genuine, and unique. Um, I'm not worried about anything anymore, so stay tuned. So one of the things I wanted to talk about was the fraternization rule. This rule has always been on my mind, you know, that officers and enlisted can't be together. I never understood that. The reason why is because the only thing initially that separates an officer from an enlisted person is a bachelor's degree. That's what separates this officer from this enlisted is a bachelor's degree. And at one point in my career, there was somebody that I truly cared about, that I truly loved, who was on the opposite side. And I wish I could have been with that person. You know, I look back on it and I ended up choosing my career over this person and I don't know if it was all it was the best decision you know like choosing your career over love you know it was a hard decision to make but I made the decision and I had to stick with it and you know it's not a day that I don't think like did I make the wrong decision or you know was that the right thing to do but who knows but that's one of the things that I don't agree with simply because the only thing that separates an officer from an enlisted person initially is a bachelor's degree like in the military, you're taught that officers are above you. It's subconsciously taught that officers are above you, that they are better than you, that they just are in charge. You know, they are in charge, you know, and it sucks because you feel so inferior compared to an officer. And there's a famous saying inside the military, like different spanks for different ranks. The same things that you do that you would get in trouble for, an officer could do it and possibly not get in trouble or not get into the amount of trouble that you would get into, if that makes sense. So, different spanks for different ranks, I never fucking agree with that. 
Um, I never agree with officers and enlisted not being able to come together. I, I believe that if you're not in the same chain of command and you guys are professional and you guys can keep it going, then make that shit work. Um, but as of now, fraternization is frowned upon and you will get in trouble. All right, next thing I want to talk about is my career. So I had a recruiter that hit me up and told me that a lot of their airmen or potential airmen watch my videos and that they compare or they decide to join the Air Force because they see my videos and they see what I've done in my career. Um, I just want you guys to know that your career won't be shit like mine. Um, at the end of the day, everybody, everybody's career is different and you do what you want to do in your career. You can grind and try to make rank fast, but not everybody makes rank fast. Not everybody does the things that I did. So if you're looking at my videos and you see my career going so well, and I made staff sergeant, made tech sergeant, got my bachelor's degree and retired out of the military, you see that and that's what you want to do. Don't think it's, gonna go just like that you know you run into road bumps um, you might make rank faster you might not make rank period you know just keep that in mind if you're watching my videos my videos are about my career and just use them to help yourself you know if you want to grind it out and try to do the things that i've done then grind it out and do the things that i've done but don't join the military solely based on my videos and wanting to do the exact same things that I've done. Third thing I want to talk about, I think this is the third thing, I don't fucking know, but the third thing I want to talk about is using the Air Force for everything that it has to offer. Um, I'm not really saying finesse the Air Force, but you need to finesse these motherfuckers. The thing is, the Air Force is going to use you for every single ounce of energy and positivity and everything that you have. And you need to be doing the same thing to the Air Force. You need to use the Air Force for the educational benefits, the, the health care, the dental care. Use the Air Force for everything. Make sure everything that you get seen by a doctor for is documented in your record. That's going to be extremely important once you decide, if you decide, to get out. Um, everything needs to be documented. I don't care if you have a headache, go get seen for that headache. If you have a headache three times a week, go get seen for the headache. Because at the end of the day, once you file for disability, everything is going to play a part in what you receive. And you let the Air Force use you for four, six, 10, 20 years. Man, you got to have something to show for it once you get out. Man, a degree, 100% um, disability something man do your research and use the air force as much as they gonna use you that's all i can say about that man like you're a fool if you're not using the air force if you feel like you're finessing the air force man be smart about it uh, i'm not saying go out there and do stupid stupid things like don't go do that but man do what you gotta do and make sure you use the air force for everything they have to offer and everything they don't have to offer find a way just find a way that's all i gotta say Boom, number four. So the fourth thing I want to talk about, I'm trying to make this video real quick, so I'm probably speeding through a lot of this. Um, there is some stuff that I want to dig deep into in other videos, but as of right now, I'm just going to introduce it to you. Like, you know, just sprinkle a little salt on you, and then maybe later on I'll make a whole video about a certain topic. Just like this topic, being black in the Air Force, is there racism in the Air Force? Um, I got this question so many times and I had to shy away from answering it because I didn't want it to be misconstrued or anything to be reported back to my leadership, like my personal opinions or how I felt. I didn't want it to be misconstrued and I am a representative of the Air Force 24-7, 365, in uniform, out of uniform, no matter what. Um, so I always shy away from this question, but now, I won't. So yes, there is racism in the Air Force and it's hard being black in the Air Force. The thing is, the reason why I say this, this is my just personal opinion. I believe it's hard being black simply because everybody looks down on you. Um, the things that you would send in an email can be misconstrued and taken as offensive or aggressive 
simply because you're black and people know you're black. The thing is, I'm the most friendly person ever. Like, I'm the friendliest person ever. Like, I'm nice, but you have to come and speak to me. Like, I don't go out my way to speak to people, but if you come to speak to me, like, I'm gonna hold a conversation with you. I can talk to you about whatever. But since I'm black, I'm big, I'm dark skinned, I got a beard, like, the thing is, people always feel like, oh, he must be aggressive and, oh, he's, like, he has a temper or he's antisocial, whatever. Like, no, you just don't take the time to come up to me and talk to me. The thing is, you have these preconceived notions that, oh, I'm big, I'm black, and I got a beard that I'm just rude, aggressive, and ruthless. Like, no, little did you know, like, I'm the nicest person in the world. Like, and I'm the funniest person in the world, if y'all didn't know that. Like, all you had to do was come to me and talk to me. But everything you say can and will be used against you, like, if you're black, man, seriously. Um, being black in the Air Force is a big deal. I do believe that some of the punishments that black people face, everybody don't face, you know, that makes sense. It's pretty much just like the civilian sector. Um, you have your racism there and Everything you say in an email is taken as aggressive or you, the way you talk to people is considered aggressive or whatever. It's the same thing in the Air Force, man. Like, don't think because you joined the Air Force that everything's going to be all smiles and rainbows. It won't. There's still racism everywhere. Um, just keep that in mind before you join. And staying with this same topic about being black and white privilege in the Air Force, I don't know if you guys know this, like for my people who aren't in yet, you might not know this, but for my people who are in, um, our commander in chief, Donald Trump, um, signed a memo or directive pretty much saying that we weren't allowed to say certain things about racism. Like we weren't allowed to say things like, oh, there's white privilege or there's racism in the Air Force. So, being black in the Air Force, and I wasn't allowed to say, oh yeah, there's white privilege in the Air Force. Like, the head person over every military branch told us that we couldn't talk about racism in the Air Force. But just know that if you're joining the military, um, that was one of the things that your commander in chief put out. So that's everything I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, Try to make this a really quick video. Hopefully it's not too long. I tried to speed through it because I'm running out of time and I got things to go do. But I wanted to make a video today. I'm gonna release it tomorrow on the 27th of October because technically I'm still kinda in even though today is my official date of retirement. I just don't wanna walk that line with posting this and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna post it tomorrow and hopefully you guys have already hit the subscribe button hopefully you guys hit the notification bell and make sure you guys go add me on instagram 21 shades of j if you guys want to reach out to me go ahead and dm me as well as add me on snapchat it's jarvis usaf that's the second best way to reach me i haven't been on snapchat like that but i'm trying to get back on it so Make sure you guys hit me up, ask me questions, leave a like. Make sure you guys drop some comments. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Let me know what's on your mind. But until next time, I'm out.